Greetings from the Beehive State, home of more survivalists and preppers per square mile than anywhere else in the world. Fact. Uh, J907 Piper has issued a challenge to list 10 items you would bring to survive in the wilderness for 30 days. Mm. Challenge accepted. Now, I think this is a great idea, especially survivalists and non-survivalists, to get the old noggin of thinking. And also, dude, you're extremely generous. You let us pick what time of year and where. I like it. So, the place where I would be would have to be in the mountains, next to rivers, next to lakes, most importantly, it'd be someplace that I know, someplace I know the ins and outs of, in case, say, a forest fire starts by lightning, you change the rules and you let bears attack us, or zombies, or golden horde, whatever. I'm going to know where to escape. So my place is the Heber Valley, right here, in the beehive state of Utah. I know that river like the back of my hand and I love fishing it every week. And also of importance because it's next to water, we get to bathe ourselves, man. Nobody wants a crusty butt out in the wild. This guy's been here. You don't want to do that. So, high in the mountains, access to water, water brings in game, we got fresh fish in the water. I say we get started with our list. Now, as the title suggests, my favorite knife. This is where... Now, before we get started with the list, housekeeping. Mark Twain, Colt Abacus. Very nice. For a nice, quiet evening like selves. So, as the title suggests, let's get started. Number one, you need a good combat knife. Now, I know you said we don't have to protect ourselves, but this guy, AKM Type 2 Bulgarian Fixed Bayonet. I'm not going to say where I got this. Was it from a gun show? Was it from yard sale? Was it from a friend? Was it from some place in the far side of the world? I'll let you decide, regardless. This thing is a beast, almost six inches of hard steel, plus, as you can tell, on the shabbard, we've got wire cutter. Now, not only does it cut wire, but it can cut some other items that are on my list, as well as gut and fish, tie it up, make a spear. Just makes you feel more comfortable when you got a big strap and knife on your side, right? All right, number one. Number two, paracord. Now, this has a million and one uses. Quick tip, make sure after you cut them, cinch the ends, make sure it don't rip. A million and one uses. Item number three, waterproof tarp. Now, this can be used for both cover from the rain. You could lay it out for saying, hey, rescue me, let me get out of here. It also can serve as like a water collection spot as well as a nice pillow. Item number four, you gotta have your boiling pot. You gotta make sure that water is fresh. Don't want the runs when you're out and about. Also helps cooking your food. Invaluable. All right, now item number five, standard U.S. Army issued Skeeter net. We are by the water. Running water leads to standing water. Standing water leads to mosquitoes. I don't want them biting me. So that is a must for nice. Also serves as an extra pellet. Now, number six, lighter. 
Uh, I made this list that if I didn't have it at home, it didn't make the list. So don't have waterproof matches. That would be something I wish I could switch out for a lighter, but for the moment, this is what I got, man. Fire, warmth, food. Gotta love the non-filter. Now, if you're on the river, what's good is it if you don't have fish and pole? And you're extremely generous on your list because you let us have not only that, but a little tackle box. Ah, I'll be catching fish all day, baby. Now, number eight. This is where me and my former life as a medic goes nuts. First aid kit. See that Blackhawk, the very best, very, very best. Now, what's inside of it, obviously the tourniquets and stuff like that, it's not gonna do you good on the long term, but you're gonna wanna at least have a Sam splint in case you rack yourself, nice little wrap, and at least some gauze and tape. I don't know how many of those you'll let us have in our first aid kit, but they'll do a lot more good than just bandages and Neosporin. All right, number nine. Huh, I had to think about this one. You're out there for 30 days. It's going to get boring. I've been there. Missions, week long, let alone 30 days. You get bored, man. You need something to read. For me, you got to go with the Holy Bible. By the power of Jesus. Now, you may want to have like Stephen King's The Stand or some other longer book, but man, my heart belongs to Jesus, so I'll definitely be reading up. And finally, for number 10, so I'm holding it. You got to have a pipe, man. Why'd you post this in the YTPC if you wasn't going to have a pipe in it? Mark Twain would be a good choice. Now, if you said pipe alone, number 10, number 11 is tobacco. Well, I guess you got to go with the sage, the moline, whatever shrubbery and smokable herbs you can up there in the Hebrew Valley. But I would be okay. So, Jay, congratulations, man, on making it well over 100 by now. And I want to wish you a very happy birthday this coming weekend. And again, a big thank you, man. This is a lot of fun doing this. I purposely did not watch any others. So they wouldn't tape my list. So I wouldn't get the old screwy side going and constantly shifting things in and out. Um, and for everybody else who's watching, hopefully this uh, inspired you a little bit to revise your list. I don't know how much I'm going to be revising mine, but good night. God bless. As always, happy pipe. Mm -hmm.